For the first time ever, a Canadian Olympic curling team will not medal. The women's team has been knocked out, and it's disappointing for many Canadians, especially here in Manitoba, where curling is arguably bigger here than anywhere else in Canada. Shocker. There's no doubt. I mean, that's a medal we just chalk up that we've got. My heart breaks for them. <clears throat> it almost makes me want to... Uh, cry. The whole country expects that they're going to do well and we kind of count on that medal. So I feel really badly because they're going to come home feeling like they, you know, let us all down. Well, I think the other teams are pricking up all the time, but uh, uh, they didn't play their best. No. The last game they got themselves into trouble and a game that they could have won and they didn't. The women's team, led by Rachel Homan, were eliminated after a 6-5 loss to Britain on Wednesday. Shirley Strand and her husband, Ken Strand, are provincial stick curling champions. Shirley says although Canadians always expect to do well, other countries have stepped up their game. Other countries are coming up to be such specific, particular and great curlers. And uh, I think we, Canada can take some uh, credit for that because there's a lot of countries have Canadian coaches. The St. Vital Curling Club is home to two Olympians, Jennifer Jones and Jill Officer, who were part of the team that won gold in 2014. Watching at home, I can just see that it, it was a real grind for, for Rachel and her team, and uh, I can see that they gave everything they had to try to find their way into playoffs. I just feel horrible for them. I know that they're a great team and they'll be around for a long time. It's an unfortunate time for a team from Canada to not make the podium for the first time, especially when curling seems to be gaining a surge of interest online. Just yesterday, actress Christy Alley got some serious heat for tweeting that curling was boring. Now she ended up deleting that tweet, but not before the U.S. men's curling team responded with, we're not trying to be mean either, but your movies weren't exactly riveting theater. It's okay, though, they've settled their Twitter feud. When the Olympics comes around, there's always people who start to get on the bandwagon. I mean, we've seen Mr. T, we've seen James Corden, we've seen Jimmy Fallon. Like, they've all gotten on the curling bandwagon this, this Olympics. And any sort of attention like that that comes, uh, that comes, you know, during the Olympics, we need to kind of ride the wave on that. In Winnipeg, Eric Natividad, City News.